Hey guys, um, I'm going to do something a little different. Corey had asked me to draw some of the characters that I've had the honor to work on on movies that I've had the absolute pleasure and honor to work on. So this is Puffin, and when I googled Puffin, this a lot of these images came up, and this was actually my drawing, so um, I thought maybe I could revisit it. All right, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it off the screen and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to draw Puffin. Okay, so um, when I'm drawing and I'm uh, put my the tape, my bracelet, uh, you know, when I work in a studio, you know, I draw with soft pencils and stuff, but when I'm uh, you know, drawing for fun, I like to draw with a uh, ballpoint pen. It's got the circle. So that's my rough. Okay, so yeah, animators like to rough it out. Try to get the personality in there. I'll put in a shape like that. change pens on the next one. Can't I just use pen, I chose the wrong pen. So when you're working on a character in a studio, I mean, it's been a long time since I've, uh, he's got human teeth. That's pretty funny. Um, it's been a long time since I've drawn Puffin, because the movie was out a long time ago. And, uh, but when you draw Puffin, you know, you draw him a lot, you know, so you do about, uh, you're supposed to do 40 drawings a week. And, uh, I'm puffing, I was able to do a little more. And that's finished drawings that are, you know, totally cleaned up. to animate the eyebrow so we're gonna go this way then that way and then that way
Since it's been a while since I've drawn Puffin. There's actually a lot of um, controversy over this character because nobody could figure out how they really wanted him drawn. And there were two animators who pretty much drew all of the puffin, and then we cleaned him up. And I worked with probably one of the best artists I've ever worked with, named Melissa, Melissa Freeman. She was just a pleasure. So we were always trying to figure out what Puffin looked like, and I think even towards the end of the movie, we were still trying to figure out what Puffin looked like. But there's a saying in the industry that says the color will carry it. So the color did pretty much carry uh, Puffin, and the and the changes were so subtle, and I don't think anybody would really notice. But it's so funny because you know everybody's so nitpicky and you know, I'm the same you know, we just love our characters uh, Melissa and I used to always say that uh, Puffin was the best character and I you know I agree and uh, Melissa was the best to work for and I loved working for her and I hope she's doing well I haven't heard from her in a million billion years so Melissa if you're out there and you're watching this give me a call my phone number is all over the internet um, other than that, I still love you very much, Melissa. Here we go. My next drawing, I'm changing pens. This pen is perfect, but it fell, and it fell right on the tip, just like that. How does that ever happen? And it it crammed inside and it never came out, and I'm really bummed about it because I like this pen a lot, but it just kind of fell inside. Little S shape. Puffin! Lieutenant. Often. So that's how I rough Puffin. And then I would do another drawing, another drawing, another drawing, another drawing, constantly making more changes and more changes. And then I would show it to Melissa and then she would make more changes. And then she'd say, Sheldon, can't you learn to draw this character? And I'm trying, I'm trying. And then we'd make more changes and then... I'd move on to my next scene, and I'd work on that, and then I would show, and we'd make more changes, and more changes, and more changes. And that's animation, and it's an industry that I love so much. Okay, that's my puffin.